Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to the 31 Days of Yuletide Tarot. I have a new reading for you today. And just some notes before we get started into what I have for you. Um, everything will be linked below. Um, I would link the layout that I'm using. However, I'm not going to be doing that for this video because I messed up a little bit on doing my research and accidentally linked this one of the layouts I previously used, you know, in the in the past day, I accidentally linked it for this day too. So I've decided to improvise a spread for you guys. We'll see how this we'll see how this one goes. Um, but my, the deck I'm using, as well as my social media links, will be included in the description below. As a consolation, I will be including the questions that I've asked myself for this reading. So if you guys want to use those in your readings, if you read or if you if you just want to pass it all by, that's OK, too. Um, so let's get started. Um, this is a tarot spread for Yule, like most of these have been. Um, but the first card that I drew in this I asked myself, what would I need to know for the year to come? And I got the Six of Arrows, which represents transition. Um, now this is a repeat card, so I will move, I will talk about this very briefly, but this represents movement towards new possibilities. And there's, you know, if you if you're feeling a some type of way about a situation, you might feel that you need to move beyond your horizons, what you know, what you need um, in order to 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 grow and to be better. Um, this also may represent a an anxious or uncertain time, but by harnessing positivity and good energy, it will add meaningful movement into the changes that are coming to you. So that is the six of arrows and that is transition. The next the next card I got was to answer the question, what energy can I harness during this year? And I got the ten of bows which is responsibility and again another repeat card so very briefly this may represent a challenge that you are experiencing um, that you might need uh, stamina and determination and fortitude for um, and while this task you're having to undergo may feel heavy and burdensome someone has handed this to you because they feel that you can use your skills to enact this task and it's going to be for a higher good um, and whether it's for family or for yourself you're going to have you're going to have to get through it and you have the skills to do so because you know how to how to use what you've been given for a greater good so that is the Ten of Bows, and that is answering the question, what energy can you harness? Um, this next question I asked myself is, what energy can I let go of in the coming year? And in this case, I got the Woodward, and yet again, another repeat card, but I wanna make mention that this card also asks what we're afraid of, why we're holding on to fear, because it talks a lot about, a, you know, finding courage in a bad situation, using an emotional um, starting point from which you move forward and don't look back from. Um, so I'm going to interpret this card as letting go of fear and moving forward because you know you have courage that you're drawing on. You might not know where this courage is coming from, but you know that you have it and it gives you the confidence of knowing that I'm scared here, 
but I'm not going to look back. I'm going to go towards that thing that I really want. When, you know, if it's starting a business, if it's going back to school, if it's moving out of a situation that you're not entirely okay with, I can do this. I'm scared, but I'm going to do this anyway because I know I can. Um, so that is what the wood word represents in this case, and that is how I'm interpreting it. So the next question I ask myself is, how can I make the coming seasons of the year be the absolute best they can be? And for this, I got the stoat or the page of bows. And this is, you know, personally, you're seen as someone who is you know, you, you are gifted and you have certain gifts that people recognize and honor. Um, and it's especially helpful because you can perceive the truth in many situations. Um, also, you might be a free spirit and that kind of marks you as, a, as an original and unique personality. So you know, we talked about fear in the woodward and moving forward. I feel like these two would be helpful together because you're afraid of something. You're afraid to do something, but you're going to do it anyway because your spirit is telling you, do it. Don't be afraid. Um, people are going to recognize that freedom and that giving spirit. You know... You know, if you're perceiving the truth of a situation, you know, no, this isn't quite right. I need to leave. And people will respect you for making that choice. And, you know, your free spirit is going to mark you out. Um, yeah, and that'll mark you out. So um, in that way, I feel that I can make the best of my year by, you know, letting my spirit be free and doing things that I... I'm afraid of doing. So this last question I asked myself is, what can I give back? What can I give to the wider universe at hand? Um, and a lot of this, like if you know me personally, a lot of it is like, I want to help. I want to do right by people. I want to be, um, I want to be there in any capacity that I can be to do the highest good. And in this case, I have drawn the Knight of, sorry, Knight of Stones, which is represented by the horse. Um, and it talks about activity and self-sufficiency. Um, so staying, maybe not staying too busy because that can burn you out, um, but being active and being self-sufficient are going to help my path grow. Um, also talks about physical strength, um, but I'm, I'm taking that to mean like working out and for me that's not the life, but um, it talks about being daring and yeah, basically being daring in what I'm trying to do. Um, that's going to help me forge a path that I can be proud of, that I can share with people. There might be a little bit of a development in my future, but I'm going to talk about that in another video, so stay tuned. Um, but, um, yeah, it's talking about moving forward and being daring and bold in my decisions from here on out. So, blessed be for that. Um, and that is day 14. I'm really excited to share other videos with you. So if you would like to, please subscribe and hit the bell button if you are interested in learning more about tarot or finding other readings or other content on my channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Blessed be.